engine blew or what. There's smoke. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously engine related and oil. All the smoke coming out of the tailpipes. Hmm. I'm just glad I managed to get into this gas station here. Because I noticed at first when I was pulling up to this red light, and I'm sure you guys could hear the way that it sounded when I gave it throttle. Man, what the hell? So I don't see any major leaking underneath here, oil-wise. There's a little spot right over there, but that could be AC as well. I honestly am not 100% sure what exactly happened, but all the smoke out of the tailpipes and even smoke coming out of the engine bay area here. Uh, yeah, it's not a good sign. So yeah, I'm gonna call tow truck, get it out to probably George Riggins out in Sillianople, and then uh, we'll, we'll just, I don't know, go from there. Okay, so a quick little update here. It's been about 45 minutes. I've called um, a tow truck, so it's on its way. I think it's probably still about half an hour out. Like I said, I don't really know what's wrong with the car, but it's definitely missing hard. So, uh, you know, when it arrives at the shop, I'm assuming they're gonna do like a compression test and just really see what's wrong with it. Um, but with all that smoke coming out of the tailpipes, you know, anyone can understand whether you're mechanically inclined or not, that that's definitely not good. And uh, the initial clip when we started the video, when I apply throttle, you can hear, I mean, it's just, yeah. So, uh, huh. it's just, just such a curveball. I was on my way out to Mars here, to my buddy's shop for the previous video that we filmed uh, with the M3, the E92, to pick up my GoPro, because I forgot it in the car. I'm 1.4 miles away from his shop and uh, at this intersection here, or coming up down towards the intersection here, is where I noticed that uh, all of a sudden I had a check engine light, tried to apply throttle and it was just, you know, missing and stuttering and yeah, making all these weird. And then I just saw this huge cloud of smoke in my rear view mirror. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but what are you going to do? All you can do is laugh. <clears throat> These things happen, uh, you know. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, I wasn't planning on filming anything today. That's why I'm filming with my phone. So I'm sorry if it's windy and bad audio. But, uh, yeah. Blah. Curveball. And I'm still waiting for the tow truck driver. <laughs> I'm starting to get slightly annoyed here because uh, I, I called him. Uh, pretty much right away and they said it was going to take an hour to an hour and a half and then after two hours they were still not here so i called them and they said oh we're so sorry we're so sorry it's going to be a 30 to 35 minutes more and now it's been over an hour so i called them again and they're like oh we're so sorry we're so sorry traffic blah 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 i'm like but you guys are dropping off nearby i don't understand why it's taking so long so yeah i mean this is uh the sucky part I just wish that they don't give a time frame like that, saying, oh, an hour and a half at the longest, and then it takes more than twice that time. Just say that, like, you know, this might be between like one and four hours, at least I know. Uh, and then I can try to call another tow company, but yeah, hopefully it'll be here soon. All right, so they finally got here, so uh, away she goes. All right, guys, so it's been a few days here. We're getting off the exit. We're about to go meet up with George, who has uh, Riggin Specialty Automotive here. And uh, the reason why I'm taking it here is because I think it would be uh, technically a little cheaper than dropping the car off at a Mercedes dealership and having them do all the work. We all know I'm no mechanic, and this guy is really good. Uh, he did work on my F12 back in the day. A lot of the guys that have exotics and so on, not that the AMG is an exotic, but uh, a lot of my friends that have it, they, they go here to uh, Riggin Specialty Automotive to have work done because in the Pittsburgh area, it's very weird. We have zero exotics exotic car dealerships although it's a pretty big city you know we got three huge sports teams but no you know exotic 
real shop or, or dealership that works on these type of cars. I mean, the M156 engine isn't very common around here either. So, yeah, we're going to go meet up with George, see what's up with the car, and see where we're going to go from, from there. There it is. All right, so I'm here with George, uh, and uh, we're going to try to crank the engine manually. It won't move. No, it'll go back a hair. Which you really don't want to do much, but. Right. It, uh, that's it. So yeah, like like you and I were talking about, without taking the whole engine apart and really looking at what's going on, I mean, what do you think um, is going on? Uh, I, I either it's um, far enough out of time that the uh, the valves are into the pistons. Um, yeah. Usually the valves will bend and it'll continue to rotate. But, right. Um, it's either that or uh, uh, something's come apart with a, a piston or a rod or something. Yeah, in nature. yeah. So the thing is, we're both kind of confused because engine-wise, you usually don't have that many problems with these cars. I mean, the previous one I had, I did, did have some issues, but they were not engine-related. On the pre-facelift models from 09 to 11, you had head bolt issues, but this is a 13. AMG recognized that problem, and they fixed those head bolts. Uh, so it is kind of weird that the engine is pretty much blown and uh, our, our option here that we're gonna do I guess is get another motor um, new motor yeah it's probably gonna yeah, used engines probably the best option at this point yeah because um, I, I do kind of want to get this sped up as soon as possible and once we have the new engine we'll take a, a, a closer look at the current engine and really really figure out what's what's wrong here we, we can't even crank it you know normally and we can't do it manually so uh she's dead it's not good no it's not good and you said i mean one thing that we could technically do is get the spark plugs out you stick a camera down there and see if you could see something initially yeah, see if we see anything yeah um but either way it would be more work to tr probably try to get fix this and get it up and running um, than getting a, it's, a new it's, prob it's probably gonna you know it depends on what it is but if, right you know if we have valve train issue um it's, it's probably going to be close to the same money. What I'm worried about is, with it being that tight, is if it if it is um, where the valves have hit the pistons, and yeah, damage to the pistons. And yeah. At that point, it's definitely definitely the better way to go. All right. Okay. Well, there it is. A uh, little update at the end of the video here. I'm still kind of like baffled about this that it even happened. Uh, because it's such a good car and that usually doesn't happen to these engines and I mean it's a 2013 <laughs> in good condition otherwise obviously it's not something that you would scrap so we got to get a new engine and then uh, get it moving so we're gonna go back home and then obviously talk about what we were supposed to do with this car and that was a giveaway which obviously can't happen yet because the thing is, you don't really know how the car was maintained or treated, you know, before I had it. So, again, I have no idea how this could happen to uh, the engine um, and what really caused it. So, but one thing that I, I do know, though, which kind of feels like a blessing in disguise, is that it happened while I had the car. Uh, it would have sucked if the giveaway was like up and running and this happened. It would have sucked even worse if the giveaway was over and the car had a new owner and it happened to them. I wouldn't want that. I would feel, you know, really bad about that. It wouldn't make me look very good either. <laughs> giving away a car that just like kind of blows up a, a week or two later. So from that point of view, then yeah, I mean, I'd rather it happen to me so we can fix it, get a new motor in there, have it up and running properly before you know, we even launched the giveaway. The giveaway's been dragging out on time a little bit because of certain issues with, you know, supply chains and all that stuff, but that is, it's getting better now. So I wanted everything to be like 100 before we even started. So that's why it hasn't been done yet. And again, probably a blessing in disguise. So now I'm here with the F-150. It's my only vehicle, you know, not counting the Ranger. That's not even here right now. But the only, so please stay in one piece. <laughs> we got an empty garage. Which is weird, because we won't have a car in this garage for a little while now. So we've got to order the new motor. Uh, it's going to take a little while for that to get there. And I'm actually going to Sweden here next month as well to see my family for the first time in three and a half week or years. So we got the Raptor and we got this. <laughs> 
But hey, man, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys by standing here talking anymore. At least you know what's going on. It was very, you know, uh, not expected whatsoever. But it happened. We are, we're going to deal with it, get it up and running again. Uh, and thank you guys for your patience when it comes to the AMG giveaway. It will be up and running um, better than ever. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. It's kind of a dumb video to enjoy, I guess. But if you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Stop and buy for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Remember, always keep a smile on your face no matter what you're going through. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.